Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works, Holiday, Florida. Behind me, you'll see that I'm working on a 2006 Toyota Tundra. The plan is to, I mean, there's a lot, a lot going on here. I got to install a radio in this thing, which I'm going to do right after I get these wheels all scrubbed down. Um, I'm going to use the new Go Cleaner. Uh, it's designed for production, quality produ production work, which is what that system is about. And, um, well, I've got to get these clean because I'm going to be painting these wheels. Um, after I get it all detailed up and clean, I'll pull it in, pull them off. Then I'll get them properly prepped, then painted, clear coated, and then put back on hopefully tomorrow. And then uh, it's getting polished. Whole thing's getting polished. Then I'm going to put on the brand new Go Ceramic. Uh, super good, awesome, easy to use ceramic coating. Um, that lasts just as long as the rest of them. Uh, it's just easier to use. But this thing is, it's got uh, 255,000 miles on it. So it's kind of a lot. It also has an amazingly horrible oil leak. And uh, when I pulled it up to the shop earlier today, I pulled it right here and you can see that wet spot. I've got to clean that up. That's the oil from that truck, unfortunately. So. Uh, I just want to show you real quick what the wheels look like. I've got the center caps pulled off right here. And as you can see, they're pretty yucky. Um, all the wheels look just like this. Uh, I did use, I sprayed the new Go Cleaner on this just to start breaking it down. But I'll walk you around and show you the rest of them. I'm also going to be painting this grill. and that one so those are getting scrubbed down and painted he also did something with the lights I'm gonna pull these lights off and get those mounted properly this is the tundra I did the bed liner in a couple weeks ago you can see he's already been using it but uh, this Raptor liner is good stuff highly recommend it um, all right so I'm going to not waste any time. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into getting the uh, truck clean and then I'll get it pulled in and get the wheels off and get those prepped and get the radio installed. I might just go ahead and uh, paint them tomorrow. It's already 1.30. So time to get some work done. I'll bring you back when we've got some more done. But don't forget what these wheels look like. They're nasty. Hey boys and girls, Gary Dean. Been working on this uh, Tundra, as I told you two days ago. Problem is, I had this truck for three days and I had a ton of work to do on it. I tried to just push and get it done. I had to get it done by the end of today uh, because my client needs it for the weekend. Um, he doesn't go anywhere during the week, but on the weekends, he gets out. So let me show you what I did. First of all, I painted the wheels and they look amazing. Okay. Painted the wheels. I treated all the trim with the new plastic and rubber hydrate version two, which is amazing stuff. Looks brand new. Um, I did wash clay prep one step polish and then i was so i used the new go one step polish and i used the go ceramic right after it so it's all cleaned up and ceramic coated these tail lights the tabs in here were broken and none of the auto parts stores around here had the correct tabs so I just kind of made my own out of some stainless steel hardware, which you can see there's a little bit of a gap that I just couldn't get to go away. I don't know if this rear end's been smashed and or whatever, but anyway, um, I got it in and good and it's not flopping around anymore. So that's definitely good. Um, a few weeks ago, I sprayed in Raptor liner on top of his Linex. Uh, so I did this bed liner a couple weeks ago and I had to fill uh a piece that was just nasty I had to cut out the line x and remove it and i put a patch in the problem is 
these materials, these urethane uh, liner materials are not designed to um, be as thick as I put it in there. So it cracked a little bit. So I cut that out and then I refilled it. Uh, and I tried to go a little bit more uh, shallower, which you can see the fill is back there. So I put a little bit less thickness on it this time to see if that, that was only the, the, it, the issue was just that spot right there. So I cut it out and I reapplied. So I fixed that. I also had to, well, I'll show you this first. Uh, so he had these sh these seats reupholstered recently, and they're not quite the same color. You can see, if you look, these are lighter than the interior color. So what I did was I cleaned his rear seats with the brand new Go Cleaner, and uh, I got them a lot lighter than they were, so they match a lot better. So that was kind of important for me. Uh, I did clean the door panels and stuff as well. I didn't even vacuum it, nothing like that. This wasn't in here for an interior detail. It also wasn't in here to clean up the seats, but I always try to do a little bit extra than I'm paid for. So I cleaned all the door panels and I cleaned those rear seats to get them to match better with the brand new front seats. I also put in a brand new Pioneer radio and I ran, I had to run a brand new backup camera as well because the old one, it worked. Uh, when I put the new radio in, it still worked, but the lens was all oxidized inside, so it was all gray and foggy. So anyway, put a brand new backup camera in, brand new radio, everything works properly. Um, again, painted the wheels. Um, I also painted this front grille. It was gloss black before. Um, it matches now the bull bar. So this thing looks amazing. It's about time to head to the client's house. Three days worth of work, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I had to wire the other backup camera had a completely different wiring situation uh, than this one. This one's just a video cable. Then I had to tap into the reverse light power and ground to make it activate when you uh, put it in reverse. Uh, for those who don't know, I have an extensive um, background in car audio and mobile electronics, I should say. So that's kind of always been a hobby of mine and was what I did for work when I was in my early 20s. So anyway, uh, she's good to go. And I just contacted the owner. I also cleaned the ever loving piss out of that. It was all moldy and gross, but got that straight. Uh, but I contacted the owner already and I'm going to uh, deliver it to his house. So, like I said, I'm Gary Dean. I own DetailJuice.com, Infinity Custom Works in Holiday, Florida. Uh, I am mobile and I have a very nice shop. Um, I just acquired another bay, which I'm turning into a paint bay, which is where I painted these wheels. And uh, painting cars is also a hobby of mine. And uh, if you need something painted or fixed or upgraded or whatever, I'm your guy, 813-846-4406 is my cell. And like I said, my shop's in holiday, but I'm mobile. Uh, if you need me, just reach out. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day.